All right, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is John. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on how to do a custom scribble title in both Photoshop and in Premiere. You're gonna make a new project, uh, name it whatever you want. For your dimensions, you're gonna to wanna to pick the points option and uh, choose whatever your video size is. So if you're shooting 1920 by 1080, that's what you're gonna to wanna to make your Photoshop file. It's pretty important to kind of go into this with an idea of what you want your title to look like. Uh, for me, I already have my logo that I'm thinking about rebranding my YouTube page with. So that's what I'm going to be animating today. You can also definitely freehand it, um, but you really need to have a base that's going to be consistent. It's really important to have something to work off of so that your title uh, has a unique feel, but also stays consistent and just isn't all over the screen. Once you have your Photoshop file open, uh, zoom out and uh, just drag in your logo, or uh, if you're not going to use a logo or something like that, uh, you can just get right into drawing, but uh, I'm gonna drag in my logo, place that. So I always turn off my background layer, uh, unlock it and turn it off. And from here, what we're gonna do is create a new layer. You're always gonna wanna draw on a separate layer from your reference and you'll see why in a minute. So once you have your new layer created, uh, just grab the brush tool and start drawing right over your reference. You don't need to be super careful with this. You wanna stay somewhat close to your logo or whatever your reference may be, but it's good to be a little bit scribbly since that's kind of what we're going for with this effect. Once you once you trace whatever your reference is, you're gonna uh, export your file as a PNG uh, with no background. That way it overlays well in a video. I always try to keep my animations in one folder and make sure you numerically name each file. So once you have it exported and in its separate folder, you're gonna wanna repeat the same process five more times. I think five is a pretty good number of unique frames, but you can work with it and do more or less depending on what your personal taste is. So once you've completed all five of your drawings, you're gonna wanna just drag them right into Premiere, uh, whatever project you're working on, and select all of the unique drawings that you did and uh, basically just place them over top of each other. From there, you're just gonna wanna scale them to whatever size works best for your video and just shift click all of the other logos that you drew and copy that scale effect over to them. So you can see we got them all the same size now. And what we're gonna do from here is start the animation. I always start by moving all of them over except your first two layers. And then from there, what you're gonna do is um, animate it by moving over two frames. This is gonna make uh, like kind of like a 12 frame animation. People used to animate everything in 12 frames per second because they had to hand draw everything and doing 24 frames per second would be insane. Uh, it'd be twice as much work. So that's what we're gonna do today too. It gives it kind of like that old timey feel. So you're just gonna wanna zoom in on your timeline and then move over two frames and cut your first layer right there. Once you have your first layer cut, what you can do is uh, just delete the back side of that and drag your third layer over on top of the second layer so that it lines up with where the first layer ended. And then basically just repeat this for all of the other layers as well until you get a stair looking type of sequence. Once you get to your fifth layer, you're gonna wanna copy over the first layer so that it creates a loop effect and creates a smooth transition back to the beginning of the animation. So from here, you're just gonna copy this over a few times, however long you want the animation to be. Just select all the layers and just option click or alt click and drag them over on your timeline. And yeah, basically just do this for however long you want the animation to run. And yeah, this is pretty much the effect you're gonna end up with. You get kind of like a scribbly old timey animation out of it. Like I said, this is one of my favorite effects and I use it all the time. I just used it in a couple of my recent videos for Breaking Free Skate Park. So if you wanna make this animation transferable to other videos, you can do basically the same process in After Effects and export it. Um, so that there's no background and that way you can just drag the animation right into other video projects And you don't have to repeat this every time. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video uh, Thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed it. It'd be awesome if you leave a like and stick around for future videos All right later